Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now uh, down seven. NASDAQ is uh, uh, flat. S&P's a flat. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as you do each and every Tuesday at 20 past the hour. Don't forget, folks, Basil has an outstanding show here every trading day, 12 to 1 Eastern Standard Time. Also has a great newsletter, the opening call. Very easy to get it. Come over to our website at TFN. You go right into the newsletters. You're going to see the opening call right there. You can get that for one month, six months, or a year. Our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, tonight is going to be uh, doing a uh, workshop. And we got a little party going on over at, in Cambridge at MIT. And uh, this is going to be, um, it's going to start at 6.30, go to 8.30. Uh, and, and Basil, what is the, uh, what number Memorial Drive? I know we're going to give him Amherst Street, too, but what it's number? 70 Memorial Drive. 7-0, right? Yep, and uh, it's really quite easy to get to. Uh, you go down Memorial Drive to east towards the city, but before you get to the, the, the dip that goes down the bridge, right. you take a left, and it's that, the block on the left is where you're going to go, and you want to go to 2 Amherst uh, Street, Cambridge. And, it's, and we're going to MIT E51, building E51, Room 395 would be just right outside in the corridor of 372. So it's really a third floor. We'll find you. That's a beautiful thing. And, they're gonna, yeah. and you know, folks, uh, I mean, you can turn around. They're going to have a little potluck dinner first, uh, you know, celebrating the holiday. That's going to be from 630 to 730. Then our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, is going to be on from 730 to 830. Talk in markets. So yeah, I, I you know, this is a this is a really good time. You know, it's very interesting. You were talking about some fascinating things with the dollar and the currencies, and if you look at the market, and this is what I'll be discussing tonight, um, there are a lot of things going on, especially over maybe the last week or two. Slight changes. For instance, here, yeah, look at this. This is the TRCCI. This is the uh, Thomson Reuters Equal Weighted Commodity Index. Okay. So. Um, have a look at the, I'll open this up so you can see the monthly chart, something I've followed for years. Uh, it just screamed higher back into 2011, this commodity index went to almost 700. And then it, it got cut in half, it went to 350 down, it was like January, December, so it, I think it was December of 2015. Yeah. And then it's really gone sideways. But this is the first time that we've seen in a while let me close it now so you can see in the shorter term that in the weekly chart, this is a very nice move from the low that was made at 370, the last move of 374 back a week of August the 23rd to where we are today. If you look at the left side chart, this is one of those patterns that I always talk to you about. It's a cup formation. There's a left side, right side price time match. And 409.81 was the recent high. And it pulled back from early November, pulls back to that uh, 400 level. And now it's in leg B, and it's almost there. The high today is 409.58. So I, I'm looking at this, and you spoke about the dollar, and I have talked about the dollar from April of 2018. My subscribers have been long from uh, in the UUP, that's the trading vehicle, the fund. And it was at 90.07. It went all the way to 99.62 in October. I always talk about those four higher peaks. It went to the peak D a few times now. But this is going to be very important because from the previous low, you've got the pattern that I always call that lowercase h, the dreaded h, because if you take out the left side low, you can go quite a bit high, uh, lower. Yeah. And you were mentioning the, the British pound. So here we are, BP the British pound, um, look at the move. So if you think of the commodity index, you know, the, the Fed is always talking about we want to see some inflation. Uh, so they might get inflation. We, we don't know, but inflation might come out quite quickly because all of a sudden you've got in fairly short order, you've got from uh, just September-ish, you're down at 1.1 point, low point, 1.2s in the British pound. Yeah, you are at 1.32. So this is a very important period because many of the uh, key stocks in the stock market that have been leading look a little bit tired here. So maybe we'll start to see over the period of the next three to six or maybe eight weeks some kind of a change, even if it's an interim change. And I think it's this, so it is an important, just as you were pointing out, it's a very important moment. Yes, the euro hasn't really moved. Um, it's kind of stuck in a sideways situation, but I think there's a big difference between talking about the euro, talking about the British pound, the, the momentum and the 
the background for each one is very different. Oh, there's no doubt. There's no, no doubt. What's going to get intriguing is that, you know, you're getting a little movement out here now, folks. Uh, and, you know, we'll see. Uh, I, I can't picture that it doesn't move, you know, because what, it, what is going to happen is that this, this is going to affect all of Europe. Do you know what I mean? There, there, there's no two ways about that, you know, so. Yes, it will, it, it will affect Europe, but the whole implementation, we don't know. It's almost like ours. What, how's the implementation of the trade tariffs going to work? You know, these things take time. Oh, but yeah. the, actual, the actual deed itself, the talking about it, and to try to conclude and get something done. So this is why it could be a very important period. The other thing is that if you're looking at the Dow, uh, let me just go to the Dow here. Um, Look, the Dow's really been in a sideways movement since uh, early November. It's gone to a peak at 28,174, all-time high, but the technicals have been failing. So the sudden moves to the upside are really, I think, more news-related. Uh, as, and price is price. Yep, it did go there, but it's really struggling. And, you know, I spoke to you about the uh, those two moving averages, and we were on the cusp uh, last Thursday of breaking down in the nine period going below the 14 period. Suddenly on Friday there was the, uh, the, the tariff news. Boom, it zooms up. And we haven't broken down yet, but it's getting closer and closer as the nine is just over the 14 period moving average. And I've spoken about these rectangle formations. And if you think about what's been going on over the last maybe, let's call it three weeks, um, this is really a sideways movement in, in, the, in the Dow. And you can see, but even with new highs in the S&P and the uh, NDX 100, the Qs, um, it's been hard work. So I think the market is taking a breather, it's kind of sorting out things. I, I do think in, by a week from today, what is today? Today's Tuesday. A week from today, I think we'll have some clarity and uh, we'll see where the market's going. But the parameters for me, a big spike to the, in the Dow over 28,250, let's say into the 28,300s. That's a really good move and I think more buying will come in. But if there's a pullback at any point to we go under the 27,325 low that was made, uh, just a week ago, I think they we in for at least a digestive phase. It doesn't have to be a big deal. Yeah. But I think that we've had a huge move up until now, and there is a lot of uncertainty. Yeah, no, it's, uh, hey, this market's just kind of laying there saying, you know, there's a huge amount of rumors out there, folks, on Sunday, you know, bottom line is that are these tariffs going into effect or not? Because these tariffs here, Correct. Uh, this is a huge consumer tax deal. Um, and... <laughs> You know, we'll see uh, if they, you know, pull them back and when they pull them back. And when they pull them back, this is, uh, if they pull them back, this is what's going to be really important, folks, because if they don't pull them back, you will see this market go south so quick, it, it, it'll yes. blow your mind. I mean, do you know what yes. I mean? And I, I know someone, a small businessman, he said he has been struggling. He's right in the middle. He's had to work out different deals. He said the little guy's getting hurt. So it's, listen, it's, a, it's a 26% tax. If you bring in yep. something in for 100000 exactly it costs yep. you 126000 And yeah. Listen, folks, tonight, right over at MIT, check it out. Basil, you have a great one, safe one. I'm sure you're going to have a great time over there, man. Thank you very much, Tom. Thank have you. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.